Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in again. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 dividend stocks moving into 2022 and what my payouts have been. So if you guys tuned into my first video, I did mention that I do invest through the Robinhood app and a lot of my investments are within dividend stocks. And what dividend stocks are essentially are I invest into a company and as return on that investment, that organization will kick me back a small sum of money on a monthly, quarterly or annual basis. Hey, look, before I get to that point, I'll be remiss if I did not shout everybody out for running up the subs on my channel. I reached out to a lot of people over this past week and I was surprised with how many people did get back to me and show support by visiting the channel, viewing some of the videos that I put out and then also subscribing. So big shout out to you all. All this really helps more than you can imagine. So I'm gonna keep on pushing out content for you guys. And if you have any questions or if you just wanna connect with me, feel free to reach out, leave comments, or you can find me on social media. I'll leave all that in the link in the description below. And for those of you who do not respond back to me or ignore my message, no big deal. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll go ahead and jump right into it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, I am going to be looking down at my phone quite a bit just to make sure that you get all the right information. So we're in my Robinhood account now. And as of right now, I do have $19,431.64. I've been investing into the Robinhood platform since August 13th of 2021. Uh, since that point, I'm up 3.19%. And that equates to around $600. So just know that these stocks are in no particular order. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the number one dividend stock that I have on my list right now. All right guys, so the very first dividend stock that we have here is ticker symbol PEY, and that's Invesco Exchange Traded Fund. So this is an index fund. And what an index fund is, is a group of companies that one singular investment will go toward as opposed to a single stock. And so it's really good for diversity of your portfolio. And that's why I invest in PEY. So we'll jump right into the numbers here. So I do own 20 shares of PEY, getting paid out about seven cents per share. So the total payout that I received is a dollar and 49 cents. So going into the actual stock, take a look at my position. If you see total returns, I'm up $38. Again, this is from August 13th of last year. And again, they paid me out a dollar and 49 cents. Now for the next dividend stock, I have Triton International Limited. So for this stock, I own a little bit under three shares. It's paying out at 65 cents per share. So the total payout that I received is $1.88. Now looking into my position with Triton, if you take a look, my total return is $34.51. So dividend stock number three is Flower Foods Incorporated. And I own around six shares. They're paying out at 21 cents per share. Looking at my position within Flower Foods, right now my total return is $32.13 and Flower Foods Incorporated both manufacturers and sales bakery products. They were founded in 1999 and they have close to 10,000 employees. So the business has been in operation for a really long time, have a really good track record of growth, so I'll definitely continue to invest in this organization. So the next dividend stock is Chevron Corporation. I currently own about half a share. They're paying out $1.34 per share. So off of this, I received 75 cents last month. So I won't go into too much detail as far as what Chevron does, but just want to point out they have been in existence since 1906 with close to 50,000 employees. So again, another organization that has a long track record of success. Looking at my position within Chevron, as of right now, I'm up about 28% since I've invested and that equates to $16.20. For the number five dividend stock, it's going to be Old Republic International, ticker symbol ORI. I currently own just over six shares. They're paying out at 22 cents per share. And so last month I received a total of a dollar and 38 cents from this organization. Looking at my position within Old Republic, my total return is $6.64. That's up about 4%. And Old Republic is a holding company in the business of insurance underwriting. For the number six dividend stock, it's Coca-Cola. And I own a little bit over a share. They're paying out at 42 cents per share. And so for last month, I received a total of 54 cents. So my total return within Coca-Cola is about $6 since original investment. 
and we're all pretty aware of what Coca-Cola does, the type of products that they sell. As far as the longevity of this organization, they've been around since 1886 and they employ somewhere around 80,000 employees. So another stable company that has the data to support the growth that they've had. So the next stop we're gonna look at is McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD. And within McDonald's, I own 0.6 shares. They're paying out at $1.38 per share. And so the total that I received from McDonald's last month was 92 cents. I'm up around $10 since original investment. For number eight, we're looking at Kellogg Company, ticker symbol K. I currently own 1.2 shares. They're paying out at 58 cents per share. So for last month, I received a total of 70 cents. I'm sure everybody's fairly familiar with the Kellogg brand from the cereal to crackers to other snacks that they manufacture and produce. My current position with them since original investment, I'm up $6.15. Again, just taking a look at the history within the company. They've been in business since 1906. All right, guys, two more stocks to go. For stock number eight, I'm invested in South Jersey Industries. And within this stock, I own a little bit over two shares. They're paying out at 31 cents per share. And so last month I received a dividend payout of 72 cents. If we look at South Jersey Industries, ticker symbol SJI, my current position, I'm up $4.54 from my initial investment. SJI deals in the space of energy related products and services and they've been in business since 1969. Um, again, just repeating a similar pattern of the types of companies that I look at. All right, everybody, I'm rounding everything off in stock number 10. I'm investing in Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend, ticker symbol SPHD. This is another index fund, so again, it's invested into a group of organizations. I own about five shares. It's paying out at about 13 cents per share. And so I received a total of 70 cents last month for this particular stock. All right, guys, so those are my top 10 dividend stocks I invest in through the Robinhood app. I do have many other stocks within my portfolio inside of Robinhood, but it would take way too much time to go through. All right, guys, and as you can see here for the month of December going into 2022, I received a total of $54.77 from dividends for the stocks I invest in through Robinhood. I really do like Robinhood as an investment platform. It's super easy to follow along with, super easy to go through the information that they provide and assess if a stock is going to be something that you want to invest in. Investing in this method, again, is definitely for the long haul. The first investment payout that I had was literally a penny. But now at this point, about five months later, it's around $50 or so. And who's to say if I don't consistently invest utilizing this method that maybe that won't turn to $500 or maybe $5,000 a month purely off of investing into these stocks. And this is one of the most passive forms of income that I know. And if you guys have any questions, insight, feedback, please leave it in the comment sections below. I'd be glad to connect with you and just encourage each other throughout this journey. If you're interested in utilizing Robinhood to invest, I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you do sign up and link your bank account, you will receive a free stock. So I definitely encourage it. It's literally free money and it's a really good way to just kick off your investment future. Coming to y'all soon, I will be going over my entire investment strategy and generally the different things that I look for within a stock before I invest in that. So that'll be uh, coming in a video soon. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll catch y'all in the next one.